Hello, this is Mayor Mike Vandersteen with the COVID update for Wednesday, July 1st. First of all, let's review the change in the numbers from last week. Today, we're reporting uh, 210 uh, positive cases. That's uh, it's up from 20 from last week where we had 190. We right now have 19 active cases and that's down nine from last week where we had 28. This, uh, today we have 187 uh, recovered cases and that's up 29 from last week uh, where we were at 158. We have no uh, individuals in the hospital getting care at this time and last week we had one person that was still in the hospital. We uh, still have recorded four deaths and that's the, rem uh, the same as last week. The tests that have been administered are up to 10,111 tests versus 8,246 from last week. That's an increase of 1,865 tests. And last week, uh, the percentage of uh, positive cases to test was at 2.3%, uh, and that went down about a quarter percent at 2.07% uh, this week. The Sheboygan County health officials have released uh, Sheboygan County safe restart recommendations. This plan uh, to reopen that has included strong controls for businesses and residents. We are now in phase two of that plan, which says that if a business is open, they need to follow the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation's best practices uh, and any sanctions specific to their type of business. Sheboygan County has met the criteria for phase uh, three, except for the upward trend of positive cases statewide. This benchmark criteria will be viewed, reviewed on Thursday, the, uh, the 3rd of July, and uh, may be reevaluated to go from phase two to phase three. If those state trends uh, don't uh, relax a little, then we will stay in, in phase two for another week. Effective on Monday, July 6th, Shoreline Metro will move to their next phase of their return to service plan, which includes uh, resuming Saturday service from 7.45 a.m. to 5.45 p.m. with shuttles. To resume fare collection, no longer uh, will the bus be free or complimentary. To resume bus entry through front doors only for all customers. Then to restart Route 40, our trolley service that serves South Pier downtown and, uh, and Deland Park uh, for 2022 summer. And also they will reopen the transfer station shelter and access to vending machines. Now here's a review of some of the other uh, City Hall operations. City Hall is open to the public. The Mead Library is open to the public with limited hours from Monday through Friday from 10 to 6, Saturday 10 to 2, and the third floor meeting rooms are closed currently. Our municipal court will be conducting virtual hearings for the next few months. Our city parks have remained open uh, through the coronavirus as so getting out in our parks and exercises is, is, uh, is great. Um, all city playgrounds have now opened. The children of residents and can use the playgrounds at their own risk. The city is not able to sanitize the play equipment and we are encouraging residents to bring their own hand sanitizer and sanitize the hands of their children after using the play equipment. City park buildings and shelters will remain closed. The following restrooms are available for public use as part of the phased reopening of city facilities. Deland Community Center, the outdoor uh, bathrooms only, Deland Beach House, Richardson Shelter, Rotary Riverview Park, Evergreen Park, areas one and four, South Pier Turnaround, South Pier Fish Cleaning Station, Deland Park Fish Cleaning Station, Valrath Park, the Kiwanis Field House, again the outdoor uh, access to restrooms only, and then the King Park uh, outdoor entry only. The Senior Activity Center will remain closed. And please re remember to do all you can to stop the spread of the coronavirus by wearing a mask in public and maintaining a social distance of six feet. 
The latest issue of the Sheboygan Insider, our city newsletter, was released today and is available on the city website. And I want to wish everyone a happy 4th of July. Take care, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.